video today i'm gonna to be comparing the rocky franchise to the die hard franchise both of these franchises started out with a classic iconic movie in the case of the original rocky the franchise is a sports franchise yes but if you look back at the original movie it's actually a drama you have the boxing match at the end of course but really it's a character study about rocky about this guy who never had his moment to shine never really got his shot and then he actually gets an opportunity to do something big fight against apollo creed which he ends up doing and then he ends up winning and so he actually becomes a big name boxer die hard is known as one of the best pure action movies of all time i've seen the first rocky movie i haven't seen any of the others right now and i haven't seen any of the die hard movies so this is mostly based on what i've heard about these movies when it comes to a highest score for each franchise in the case of rocky the first creed actually is the highest score of 95 percent with die hard the highest score is a 94 percent for the original movie rocky wins here then when you look at lowest score with rocky you have a 33 percent for rocky 5 and then with die hard the lowest score would be a 59 percent actually no 15 percent for a good day to die hard the latest installment rocky wins again and then when you look at average score rocky is an average of 71 die hard is an average of 63 so rocky wins here then when you look at gap between lowest and highest score in the case of rocky you have a gap of 62 between lowest and highest with die hard you have a gap of 79, 79 between the lowest and highest so rocky wins here thus rocky's already go going to win this debate regardless of my personal opinion it's already won for the rounds and actually when it comes to my personal opinion this one's not difficult whatsoever for me it's pretty obvious so yeah rocky's a better franchise admittedly there's been more rocky movies there's been nine of them whereas there's only been five die hard movies also the last die hard movie came out 11 years ago the last rocky movie came out only last year because that's when creed free came out but the advantage Rocky has is just there's been more movies in that franchise that people have enjoyed. Whereas if Die Hard, for the most part anyway, it's been downhill after the first movie. I mean, Live Free or Die Hard actually was well received. That one is an 82%, which is very good. Yeah, Die Hard 2 is fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, but only as a 69%, which isn't fantastic. It's definitely stepped down from the first movie both of these franchises do have big name actors in them that's for sure rocky made sylvester stallone a big name actor because all the creed movies have been really well received i would say people are just more excited there's more momentum behind the rocky franchise than die hard i think people aren't really talking that much about die hard anymore First Creed is a 95%, second Creed 83%, third one that came out last year 88%. That's pretty consistent right there. I like with Rocky that it's telling this story throughout all the movies about a guy going through life. You start with Rocky being a loan shark actually who isn't a big name guy and then because of this opportunity he's given he actually becomes a big name boxer and then we get to like rocky 4 that right there is a pure product of the 80s just pure 80s cheese <laughs> and then when you get to creed you're seeing rocky at a different phase in life you're seeing him transition to being more of a mentor rather than the guy is actually going out there and doing the boxing i definitely enjoy that i think it's pretty interesting you don't have the same thing going on with die hard and also i think one of the problems with the die hard franchise is that after the first film which is pretty simple and not in small scale things just got bigger and bigger to the point where our main characters are trying to save all of russia and just feels like we're missing something and so i think that Die Hard has certainly struggled since the first film overall to actually continue to keep the quality up, whereas 
Rocky has been better at keeping quality up. It seems to me like even the not as good Rocky movies are fun to watch. And so that's definitely an advantage that Rocky has going for it. I think Michael B. Jordan gave a, gives a good performance in the Creed movies. Everything I've heard makes it seem like that is the case. I definitely like Michael B. Jordan as an actor because of his performance as Killmonger in Black Panther. He does a really good job there. But that'll be all for this video.